Hey everyone, it's Carla here from Run Again Rover, and today we're going to talk about whether or not your dog has a seroma. So the first thing is, what is a seroma? It's a collection of fluid underneath the surface of the skin, and it's kind of like fluid that occurs in an empty space. These most often occur near the incision site. Now I know what you're worried about. You think it might be an infection in there. I mean, it's what we all worry about after CCL surgery but there's a big difference between an infection and a seroma. So what is it? Well, I'll tell you the way it feels. It's kind of like a water balloon. So if you go near the incision, not on it, but adjacent to it, right over the puffiest part of this area, you can give it a little tap and it might feel a little wiggly or a little jiggly, probably a seroma. These things usually are not serious. They don't really require that you do anything. Some surgeons say that we can put a warm compress and it'll help the body to resorb some of that fluid. So what is a seroma? It's a collection of fluid in an empty space underneath the surface of your dog's skin and usually very close to where the incision is. Now, if you're worried that your dog has one of these things, I have advice. Get a video, make sure it's clear. So what do you have to do? You have to tap on your phone's screen, get it centered right over the swollen area, and then tap your phone screen to fine focus your camera's lens. And then you're gonna send that video to your dog's veterinary team. You might even wanna kind of, don't touch the incision itself, but just go adjacent to it over the puffiest part of this area and just give it a little bit of a touch so the doctor can see how mushy it is. Now you might be wondering, well, let's get rid of that fluid, maybe it hurts. And the problem is that if the doctor inserts a needle to draw out that fluid, what they do is they're actually potentially pushing bacteria in, which then can cause an infection. Most surgeons won't do anything with a seroma because the big thing here is that we wanna prevent infection. So don't worry, now you know what this is. It's nothing to panic over. Your dog's body will resorb this fluid in time relax. I'd love for you to be a channel VIP. And what that means is you're going to help to make this channel grow so that other dog owners can learn the same way you did today. So what do you have to do? Click the subscribe button and also that little bell icon so that you're the first one to know the next time I upload my next video. I'd also love if you share the video link with others that you might know who are going through this. There is so much more to learn. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until next time.